Today on Snow Walker Outdoors, I'm going to show you how to make an insulated bottle cover. Cheap, and you'll get several of them. Don't go away. Okay, so the insulated bottle cover, you know, they are quite good and they work well. But again, like I said, they are expensive. Um, you know, they're a little bit bulky, but when you're carrying things in a toboggan or uh, in a backpack and you have an extra one, it's okay. You make allowances for that. Again, it's, you know, what we decide to carry at any given time. Now, if we were only going to carry one bottle and we wanted our water to uh, not freeze, obviously there were some other tricks that we had discussed if we take a lanyard tied around here and we tuck it down in between our insulative layers and our body it'll help keep the water from freezing the other thing too is to always make sure that we have a full bottle as opposed to one that is losing volume of liquid okay if there's like less liquid in there it's going to freeze faster than if we had a full bottle so what i have here is just something that i've been doing for a while and uh, it's simply another bottle cover. Let's take a look at the size of this. If we take a look at these side by side, you can actually see that they're not really, the homemade version is not much bigger than the commercial version. And that's something that we like. We take a look at it from the top, and we can also see that they're pretty much the same size. Again, not a big trade off. We don't have to worry about making that much more extra room anywhere. This has a zipper top. This one is double walled. And that's how we're gonna keep our bottle in there secure. Now let's take a look at what we need to make this. You need a roll of Reflectix, okay? You can pick this up at any of the big boxed hardware stores um, for about 18 to $20. You need some reflective uh, metal tape right here. You need a Sharpie marker and you need your bushcraft. That's it, that's all you need. Um, this is not rocket science, okay? We're gonna make a pattern uh, by using our bottle. All we do is simply take the bottom edge of the bottle, we line it up with our Reflectix. We turn this until our reflective material, our Reflectix, meets together here. And then we are simply going to mark it right there. And we're gonna cut a straight line up. From there, all we're going to do is we're going to mark the top of the bottle. That's going to be our line. Here's a little tip. Depending upon the width of Reflectix that you get, you could actually cut this right in half and that's enough to do the top and the bottom of your bottle of a regular 32 ounce Nalgene bottle which most of the bottles that we use are, okay, there are some different ones out there, but I prefer the Nalgene's or the Guyette bottles uh, if I go with the uh, stainless steel ones. So that's all we're doing. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut that out. Now that we've gone ahead and we've cut out our Reflectix, the only thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tape and what I like to do is put a spot right on the inside first. And it doesn't have to be all the way because you're going to cover it up. So I'll measure out that piece. First piece that we want to do is we want to put it on the inside. Yeah, like I said, again, it doesn't have to go all the way to the end. But we want to have it so that this comes around. And now we just marry the two together. So that the inside is sealed as well as now we're going to do the outside. So that's what we'll do. You can do the inside or the outside. It's not going to be a big deal. 
it's going to push in anyway. You just don't want to have a lot of large gaps. There's our circle. Trace that. There's our bottom. Come over here. Look at it, size it all up. Looking pretty good to me. Put that on there. Go to the magical, mystical tape. Kind of like the magical mystery tour. Cut a piece so that it goes all the way across. Set it right into place. I find the best way to do that is to actually put the bottle on the inside. And then you can see where you need to tighten everything up. So we got our first one on there. Now we just continue to go around and seal the bottom. There you go. There's your bottom. Now, to do the top, we do the same thing, but all we're doing is we're using the measurement of the bottle inside the lower half of our insulative cover because we want it to be larger so that it slides over the top. I've gone ahead and I've already cut it. And as you can see, it'll go around and it'll meet right there. Okay, we'll just simply tape that up, put a bottom on it, and we're good to go. So if you look here, like I said, we have our bottle in the bottom section of the cover. We've cut our second one, taped it, and again, it just slides right down over the top. And there you go, now you have your cover. So now we have two layers of insulation on the walls. We have, everything is enclosed. If we wanted to put a second layer on top, we could. Um, we could also put one on the bottom. It's not really gonna change it too much. It's probably going to add about an, an inch, I would say, um, maybe a half an inch uh, as far as that goes. I don't find it necessary because um, the, uh, the water is usually used and you know replenished. Um, over and over anyway, so I find that uh, top and bottom, one layer is good enough. So let's take a look at the cost analysis on this. Brand new bottle holder, $34. Uh, if you get them on sale, maybe $25. Total revenue on the materials for this, I think maybe cost me $20, $26, I think it was. So for $26, I can make tons of these. Well, not tons, but you know what I'm saying. Um, if I lose that one, I get upset. If I lose this one or this one gets wrecked, I don't get upset. I go home, I make another one, and I'm good to go. Anyway, so just a quick tip on how to make that cozy for your, uh, your water bottle. So plenty of different videos out there, not just mine. I just took mine to a different level. I put two covers on it to double wall insulate it. So Brian from Snowwalker Outdoors, thanks for your views and your comments. Till the next one, know before you go and walk the woods.